Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you're new, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Please make sure you subscribe before you leave. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming a part two to my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection swatches. That video I posted a little while ago, so I'll link it down in the description box if you're interested in watching the sort of part one to this video because I'm not gonna be swatching the same lipsticks as I swatched in that video in this video. Since filming that video, I have actually expanded my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection quite a lot and I actually have a whole box oh my god have a whole box of new lipstick additions to my collection which I'm going to be showing you swatches on my lips of these today I recently just posted my Charlotte Tilbury haul where I bought quite a lot of these lipsticks and a lot of you guys said that you wanted me to do a video showing you what they look like on so that is what this video is in this video I have 13 new lipstick shades to show you um, some of them aren't actually new lipsticks they're just new to me and some of them are actually part of the Hot Lips 2 collection which is only recently launched probably about two months ago those are the ones that come in the custom packaging so these are like the newer lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury and I do have one two three four five six seven seven of those to swatch for you as well I'm just going to zoom you in and we're just going to try these out on my lips my lips are literally going to kill me by the end of this video because I'm literally going to have to swatch take off swatch take off and my lips are going to die and probably fall off my face but it's fine I wanted to film this video so we're going to get it done I'm not really going to do these in any particular order I'm just going to start off with the original collection first and then go on to the hot lips too afterwards and I do also have one of the Hollywood lips which is the liquid lipsticks to swatch as well let me zoom you in so the first shade I'm going to swatch is Kim KW this one is a very very pale pinky nude that is what Kim KW looks like swatched as you can see it's very very pale so that is what Kim KW looks like all over the lips. As you can see, it's a very, very pale shade, even for me, and I'm very fair. So I would usually just only wear this shade with a slightly darker colour around the outside or even a lip liner. I would usually wear it with a slightly more pinkier or slightly darker lip liner around the edge, just so that it's not as kind of pale and concealer lips vibes, if you kind of know what I mean. So the next shade I'm going to swatch is Penelope Pink. This is from the original collection as well. And this one is slightly darker than Kim KW but it's still definitely on the paler nude side. This one I would describe as a beigey pale nude. It's actually a really flattering shade. I really like this one. Again I would usually wear it with the Pillow Talk lip liner as I would with Kim KW also. So this is what Penelope Pink looks like on. As you can see, it's a little bit more of a beigey nude as opposed to a pinky nude than the Kim K. But this is also a really nice everyday neutral shade that you could wear with any eye look. It suits a lot of different skin tones as well. This shade, I'd say more fairer to medium ideally. But this shade is honestly beautiful. And this is from the Kissing range. So it is more of a shiny lipstick, which means it's super comfortable, super easy to wear and also hydrating as well. I literally love this shade. Oh, my lips are already starting to hurt and I've only done two shades. Oh. So the next shade that I'm going to swatch is the shade Live It Up and this is from the original Hot Lips collection. So this one is a really nice baby pink. It's almost got that kind of bubblegum Barbie vibes. So this is how Live It Up swatches. As you can see, it's like a beautiful true sort of like Barbie petal pink this one is actually a really beautiful shade like this one is so so nice for more of a neutral eye look or even more of a dramatic eye look as well this one would look amazing and this would look beautiful on more tan skin like this color with a tan honestly beautiful right moving on to a matte lipstick now this one is the shade supermodel and this is actually an online exclusive this one is more of a sort of pinkier brownie tone it's definitely more on the darker side but it is still definitely quite neutral so this is how it swatches so it's kind of like a reddish brownie pink Okay, so this is the shade Supermodel. I haven't applied it the best, let's not lie. It looks a bit rough, but just so you can see the colour, it's a really beautiful, slightly darker, more neutral brown. And I really, really love this one. This will look amazing with more of a darker, smoky eye, or even just a like a winged liner and this. This would look amazing. I love this shade. So next, I'm going to be swatching the Pillow Talk Superstar Lips. So if you didn't already know, the Superstar Lips formula is basically like a sheer sort of lip balm texture. This is how it swatches, sort of. Obviously it's the Pillow Talk shade which is a pinky neutral shade. This one is a little bit more sheer and hydrating and it's also very balmy and glossy on the lips as well. 
So this is how the Pillow Talk Superstar Lips looks on my lips. This is honestly amazing because it's like wearing a lipstick and a gloss and a balm all at once. You get the colour of a lipstick but you get the look of a kind of gloss and also you have that sort of really balmy, nourishing and comforting texture to it. So I really love this. I feel like I'm going to wear this so much throughout the winter. It's going to be such a good colour to just throw in your handbag and just chuck on whenever you need something. Right, so now we've done with the original collection. I'm going to move on to the Hot Lips 2 collection which is the brand new collection with the custom refillable packaging. These retail for £28 so they're a little bit more on the expensive side but as I say you can actually refill them so you can just buy this for £19 once you're finished with it and then you can just replace the lipstick in a more cheaper sort of I guess environmentally friendly way as well. I'm going to first of all swatch the shade JK Magic. This is inspired by JK Rowling and this packaging is literally amazing. So it's black and it's got these beautiful stars on it. I absolutely love it. It's like a night sky. It's so nice. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It's a really similar shade to Penelope Pink, actually, which we swatched earlier. So this is what JK Magic looks like swatched. It's a little bit more of a pinky neutral. So this is JK Magic on. As you can see, it's very, very similar, like I said, to Penelope Pink. So if you have one, you probably wouldn't need the other. But I really, really love this shade. It feels so comfortable because it's part of the Kissing collection. So it's a little bit more on the shiny side. And it's a really beautiful, everyday, wearable colour. I absolutely love this one. My lips feel so sore. <laughs> So the next shade I'm going to swatch from the Hot Lips 2 collection is the In Love with Olivia shade. This one is inspired by Olivia Palermo, I believe. And this is the packaging. It's this really nice gold and black striped packaging. This is the shade. This one is more of a kind of pinkier baby pink shade. I really, really like this one. So this is the shade swatched on my skin. As you can see, it's slightly darker than JK, but it's just a little bit more on the pinky side and it's a little bit brighter also. I haven't really worn this one that much since I've had it. I've had it for a little while, but I actually love this shade. This is such a perfect baby pink. It's not too bright. It's not too in your face. It's definitely more on the neutral side, but this will look good with so many different eye makeup looks. The next lipstick is Angel Alessandra. This is the packaging. It's got this kind of black panther on the top and bottom and it's red and gold striped so so pretty so this is the shade this one is definitely more of a peachy kind of corally neutral still a nude but it's more on the coral and more orangey side this is definitely more of a summery nude i would say because it's got that more vibrant kind of corally orangey sort of tone like i said and yeah this is what this one looks like on the lips i love it so the next shade i'm going to swatch is the dance floor princess this is inspired by Kylie Minogue and this one has this really beautiful kind of cheetah red inspired packaging which is really really cute. It's definitely not my favourite out of all of the custom packaging but it is really nice nonetheless. This is what Dance for Princess looks like. It is a very similar shade to Live It Up. It is a baby pink neutral. This is what Dance for Princess looks like swatched and again it's a very easy to wear neutral pink. So this is Dance Floor Princess on my lips. I absolutely love this one. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shade of kind of petal, neutral pink, and I absolutely love it. It's so, so wearable. Can we just appreciate how my lips look about double the size because I've literally rubbed the shit out of them. So the next shade I'm going to swatch is the Glowing Gen. This one has the gold and black kind of leopard print packaging. This one is very similar to Stoned Rose, if you're familiar with that shade. This one is just slightly more of a pinky tone and it's definitely more on the darker but still neutral side. So this is what Glowing Gen looks like on my lips. I absolutely love this shade. This is such a me shade, especially for kind of autumn, winter. This is Amazing Amal. This is inspired by Amal Clooney and this is in the black and gold stripy packaging. This one is more of a burgundy shade. So this one is really, really nice for autumn and winter. So that is what Amazing Amal looks like. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a statement lip. I would usually just wear this kind of more on a night out, but it is still a really beautiful shade. So this is what Amazing 
amazing amount looks like on my lips. This would look amazing on darker skins, but it also looks really good on more fairer skins too. So I feel like this is a really versatile color. Like literally anyone could wear this and it would look amazing. Right, so the next shade is Red Hot Susan. This one is in the gold and black leopard print packaging. This one is like a really, really unique, beautiful, ready, orangey shade. This one's got a depth to it, but it's definitely more on the orangey side to a red. This will look so nice again on so many different skin tones. So that is what Red Hot Susan looks like. It's, like I say, it's like an orangey, vibrant, bright red. Right, this is what Red Hot Susan looks like on. And I'm definitely a little bit on the pale side, I feel like, for this one at the moment. I feel like I need a little bit more of a tan to be able to pull it off a little bit better. But this one is such a unique, beautiful red. It's definitely not a true, true red. It has a little bit more orange in there. But it's so, so Christmassy. This is beautiful for the festive months. I feel like if you're looking for a red, but you want something a little bit different, this one is honestly perfect. It's so, so nice. Right, and last but not least, lips <laughs> what last but not least we have the hollywood liquid lipstick in the shade screen siren this is a true red it's honestly stunning it's such a beautiful true red these if you didn't know are very sort of moussey textured liquid lipsticks they're very very comfortable on the lips they're actually the only liquid lipsticks that i can wear because i have the world's driest lips so that is what the shade screen siren looks like and as i said these are super comfortable to wear so even if you have really dry lips, you'll probably still be able to wear these because I can and I have the world's driest lips. So, okay, honestly, do not watch my application for this one. This looks awful the way I've applied it. But just so you can see the colour, this is Screen Siren Hollywood Lips. This is a beautiful, beautiful, true, true red. As I say, perfect for winter, perfect for Christmas. It's so comfortable to wear. Absolutely love this one. Right, guys, so that is it for the video. That is all of the lipstick shades that I have to show you for today. My lips literally feel like they're about to fall off my face, but it's fine. If you do enjoy these types of videos, do let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.